The unlicensed spectrum throughout the world is often a shared spectrum with other services. So you'll have a lot of sources of interference that you will have to deal with in your network. Interference is something that's generated by almost any energy source, really. Microwaves, uh, electrical motors a, a lot of times, other radios. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in the frequency you're operating in. For example, in the 5 gigahertz frequency, um, you could get spurs from something operating at a much lower frequency. The more interference you have, the more range you reduce, the more throughput you reduce, the more towers you put up, which increases the interference level overall in the network. There's a lot of ways to deal with interference. You can have directional antennas where you narrow your beam width, particularly on the subscriber side, to narrow the beam width so you're only looking at a very small piece of the sky and that's pointed right at your access point, so you're probably only going to see your access point. The other thing you can do is add filtering to your system, but the problem is that adds cost. Probably the best way to do it is GPS synchronization, which is what we do. Synchronization is important in that it allows an operator to make the most efficient use of the spectrum that's available. There are many ways to achieve synchronization in a network. We use GPS synchronization, and this is using the global positioning satellites, not for position, but for timing. Now, they have a very accurate time clock, and that time clock, visible around the globe, allows you to make sure that all of your transmitters are transmitting at the exact same time. With GPS synchronization, you're avoiding the self-interference because one of the biggest transmitters around is going to be yourself and your other radio systems operating at very similar frequencies. The notion of synchronization is to make sure that all of the transmitters in the same location are transmitting at the same time. So all of the access points transmit simultaneously to prevent self-interference, and then they listen simultaneously so they can hear the input coming back from the subscriber units. Not all the solutions out there have GPS synchronizations. In some other networks, uh, it's uh, a listen before talk, so the subscribers will have to uh, sense uh, if the channel is being used, uh, and then uh, they can access the channel and transmit. While in a cambium networks, that's not the case. There is a centralized scheduler that schedules all the timing. There is no contention in the channel and that makes it more predictable, more reliable, and the end user is gonna have a better experience. If a bandwidth hog hops onto a PMP450 network, uh, there's a lot of different ways a carrier can deal with that.